good morning everyone actually it could be possibly afternoon when you see this video but uh whatever works uh morning afternoon um okay so uh we're on to strength training uh number 17. so i hope everybody's been enjoying the uh the workouts um just remember to give us uh feedback um if you like them we definitely like to know that if um you um yeah, have suggestions you want to see more uh more of some things you know let us know so that i can make the programming uh specific for um some of the needs okay so let's uh begin first with our warm-up so uh we'll begin with the squats today so down nice and easy we're bringing those um arms out in front i want you to do a little bit of the swinging of the arms um to get that upper body integrated and warmed up so let's gonna aim for 10 of those so that's five six let's keep that going seven eight nine and ten all right good job so standing up nice and tall let's do some swings forward and back so nice big lift up keeping that one foot planted we're at about five here six seven keep it going eight nine and 10 and then integrating now the side pendulum so opening it up let's get the swing in there with the arms a little bit of the ab rotation get that middle section going and we're about here six seven eight nine and ten and then on the same side we're going to bring the knee up and we're going to open it to the side so one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and then we'll change it over now to the other side really planting that one foot and then really kicking to forward and back getting those arms in there to help with um, stabilization that's six seven eight nine and ten now let's bring that uh, leg across the body so for two three four five six seven eight nine uh, and ten and knee up and we're going to open that uh to the side hopefully i don't fall over one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten all right okay so let's rest and then um <clears throat> we're going to bring those feet nice and wide so two things here you can uh you can fold forward and work up here on the thigh so bending um side to side in that movement or if you've got the flexibility i'd like you to fold it forward and i want you to sink into those knees really extending um that one leg and remember to breathe don't hold the breath here so we're about six here seven eight nine and ten okay so let's bring it back to center you're going to walk those feet into the center and then i want you to just roll it up so just coming all the way up standing up nice and tall and then focusing on the quadriceps stretch side to side so from my side view you're bringing that heel to the glute and then changing over to the other side So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, good job, guys. Okay, so let's um, pivot over to my left side here. So you're going to bring your heel to the floor. We're going to pump that heel up and down. So focusing on the, the calf raise. So you guys just keep going. Move my equipment out of the way here. So probably about six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we'll just pivot over to the other side. And then pushing that heel to the floor and then nice big lift up and down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. 
All right, so let's bring it back to center. So moving around the core. And just remember to breathe. All right, and then we're gonna bring it up to center, and then we're just gonna reach side to side. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then bring it to center, and then reach one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10. All right, guys. Okay. So let's, uh, let's grab a quick drink and then, um, we're going to get our weights and then we're going to go through our strength training component today. Okay. <clears throat> so the first exercise we have today, um, it's going to be a push up. And we're going to be integrating a front raise with the arm. So preferably, um, two things can happen here. You would definitely be using a little bit of a lighter weight. So, you know, um, not sort of like your normal weights that you would do for your bicep curls and your shoulder presses. I like to always go a little bit lighter. So if you have that, a two, a three, uh, a four, and then sometimes um, even with my clients, um, I'm definitely uh, sometimes not even using any weight at all for this movement. Okay, so when I set this one up, I've got the, my dumbbells are just on the insides here of my palm, um, my hands. So I'm just kind of creating a bit of a box here with, uh, with that. And then um, two different types of push-ups can be done here. So you can do the, the push-ups from, the knees, which is no problem. I'll show you the side view here. So push-ups from the knees, okay? Um, or you can do the push-up um, off the knees. So that's gonna be a lot harder. And then to really um, focus on the movement, you can do the, the box push, all right? So you would do the, the box push-up, and then we would be integrating the, um, the arm lift. So box push, and then other side. And again, too, that would work the same with the, uh, from the knees, it would be the push up. And then you would do your, your arm raise. And then if you're doing the harder push, your knees are off the floor, you're doing that push up, and then you're taking that dumbbell, and then you're lifting. Now, what you could even do is rest at the knees um, to do the lift if you need to. Okay, so lots of different ways to, to integrate that movement in so um let's pick one now just remember you can always regress so if there's what if you kind of pick one that's a little bit too hard just regress in the set to something um less intense okay all right so uh i'll demo the one from the knees and then so you guys are going to get ready so you're positioning those dumbbells inside your palms okay so you're going to do the push up and then you're going to do that lift so that's one push up two three so let's keep that going four just a nice little control movement five six we're gonna aim for twelve seven eight nine 10, and this is your last two, one, and two. Okay, good. So let's rest there. So how did that feel? You know, make some adjustments according to um, how that felt. So if that felt quite a bit challenging and you feel like you need to uh, decrease into a lower movement uh, or a less intense movement, you can do that on the next set. So I'm just giving you a few seconds to rest. That's a hard movement. I figure at this point along, you know, 17th session or so, if you guys have been working along, it, it's good to do some challenging exercises. All right, so um, I'll demo the box push as we're going through them. I'll just do the different ones just so that you can see them. Okay, so remember to line up your dumbbells. 
Okay, so let's get ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, keep it going, seven, eight, nine, ten, and this is your last two for one, and two. Okay, good. Nice work, guys. Okay, so let's rest up while you guys are having a drink and resting. I'm going to talk about the next exercise. So this is another combination movement, and most of our movements today are combo movements, so more than one movement in one. We're going to be doing some sumo squats with some upright rows. I think I have a sneeze. Hang on. Maybe not. Oh, it went away. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna drive the, the toes out. So we're gonna do the sumo squat. So we're gonna lower down and then we're gonna upright row. So just taking note here on the form on this one. So toes are out, the knees drive out towards the, the baby toes. But then as I row my arms up, if you notice that my dumbbells come up to the middle of my chest here, and then my elbow travels slightly past my shoulder. Okay, so let's try that one. We'll aim for 12 repetitions together. Okay. All right, so let's get ready. And here we go. So we got one, two, pushing through the heels of the feet, three, four, keep it going, five, six, a nice big drive up. Seven, elbow comes past the shoulder a little bit. Eight, nine, ten, and two more. Nice big lift up. One, pushing through the heels of the feet, and two. Good, and rest. Okay, good job. So just remember that when you, those toes are pointing out, when you squat down, you want to make sure that the knees drive out, okay? So, and then as you come up, the knees stay in that dri driven out position so that when you lift up, you're not doing that. So the knees don't come in. And then when you go down, which happens quite a bit, the, the knee wobbles, okay? So you really wanna focus on the form for that, okay? All right. So resting. Sorry, that very sniffy today. I have to apologize. I did feel that sneeze coming on, but then it disappeared. Okay. That's the thing when you do things live, right? You can't make changes and you can't edit. <laughs> okay. All right. So, so drawing the toes out and then we're going to lower back down and then nice big lift up. We got one two, so we're aiming for 12 again, three, four, five, six, now halfway, let's keep that going, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, one, and two. All right, good. Nice work, guys. Okay, grab a drink, rest up, and then I'm going to talk about the, the next exercise. So <clears throat> we're going to be on the mat for this next one. And I'm going to show you now quite a few uh, sessions we've done, um, quite a bit of different types of bridges. Now I'm going to introduce another type of bridge. Okay, so I'm gonna show you two variations for this one. So lay on the side, we're gonna do hip lift up and then reach on a diagonal. And as you rotate, you're gonna rotate the head following the hand and you're working on that diagonal movement. Okay, so that's variation um, number one. Now variation number two is much harder. 
it requires a little bit more stretching through the upper chest. So you're gonna come into that, that bridging position and then you're gonna do a reach again on that diagonal movement. And then you can choose to come back down here and then going over to the other side, okay? So dip those hips down and then reaching over to the other side. Okay, so with this one, the difference is it's, uh, it's, it's harder because you're in that position. But then secondly too, that you're opening up the chest. So really, it really uh, facilitates a shoulder here and chest stretch, which a lot of people tend to be very tight. So it's a harder movement to do, okay? So either one works. You can try a couple of the hard ones and then regress to the, the other one. Okay, so let's get in position. So nice big lift up, breathing out. So we got one, two, we're gonna aim for 16, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, let's keep it going guys, nine, 10, almost there, we're in for six more, one, two, three, four, five, last one, and six. Okay, so for, we're on our back, we'll just do a little knee tuck in. And then maybe just a, a movement side to side, massaging the back. And just remember to breathe. All right. Okay, so coming back to, uh, to center here, and then uh, we're gonna go back into um, that bridge movement again. Okay, so whatever bridge you wanna do, I'll actually demo the harder one this time. You guys probably already know the other one quite well. So nice big lift up, breathing out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, keep it going for eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, we're aiming for a few more, 13, 14, <clears throat> 15, almost there and 16. All right, so let's uh, tuck those knees in, hug it in, maybe a little rock and roll here. Remember to breathe, don't hold the breath. All right, good job guys. Okay, so let's bring it back up. We're gonna do some abs next. So next up, we're gonna do what I call a C-sit with, uh, with some rotation. Now I'm gonna show you a couple variations of this one. So with or without a dumbbell, we can just do C-sit side to side with rotation. Okay, and then um, the other one is just a little bit harder where you're gonna come up, you're gonna do a C-sit, but you're laying more in a flatter position, okay? So you can try either one. The counts might be a little bit off if you're doing the harder movement, um, but that's okay. Just kind of stay at, at, at a pace. Um, so I'll start first with the, the little bit of the easier one. Okay, so let's get ready. Here we go. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, 10, last one, and rest. Okay, good. So whatever one you tried there, if your count was a little bit off, that's fine because the, the bigger one here is gonna require like a couple extra seconds. I tried to slow it down a little bit for uh, with the other one, just to kind of make sure that you were you were catching up. So take a rest there, and then on the the next one, I'll um, I'll go through and and do that one that count with you, uh, so just so you can see the form a little bit more. So again, it's just a little bit of a harder movement, um, but both movements can be done in as two separate exercises. That's no big deal either. Okay. Okay, so let's get back into that position. So again, you can use that dumbbell, right? Just to um, add that a little bit more intensity. So I'm gonna work a few reps with the harder one to keep you guys on track. Okay, so here we go. Big lift up, one, two, three, four, Five. Now, if you're doing that C sit, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and rest. Okay, big stretch out here, reaching those arms overhead, point those toes, big belly stretch. Just remember to breathe, don't hold the breath. Good, and then let's bring it back up to center. Okay, guys, nice work. Okay, so we're gonna bring it on up to the feet. We're gonna do something called a low lunge. Um, and this is gonna be like a side to side movement, but without actually coming out of the movement. So just, um, this is pretty good to so make your legs burn. You'll feel the, the work um, coming out of that movement. Now, you can uh, integrate weight in this one, but maybe on the first set, if you don't want to, to just get a feel for the movement, it's gonna be a little bit different than what we normally do. You can do no weight at all. So basically what the, the exercise is gonna look like, you're gonna come into that side lunge and then you're gonna creep across to the other side, okay? So you're staying low. See, so now I'm in low lunge again. Here's kind of a, a really like a sumo squat. And then I'm transferring my weight back over to the other side for low lunge, okay? So I'm never actually coming out of the movement like we do in some of the exercises. Okay, so <clears throat> let's get in position with or without the weight and then I'll count your, your reps, okay? So getting it down there. So Eleven and twelve. Ooh, okay, good, nice work. Now let's rest that out. Maybe need to stretch it out a little bit, side to side. Remember, don't hold those stretches too long. So side to side. Okay, if you can do that stretch, great. Or a little bit of the side to side. All right, good job. So a couple more seconds. Okay, so we're gonna come back to it. Okay, and then for this one now, if you want, and try to integrate your weight, okay? Okay, so you've got that, you're holding that dumbbell at the chest, okay? Staying clear of the sides here with the dumbbells because we're working side to side, okay? So coming into that movement, shifting sides, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, one more, and rest. All right, guys, good job. Okay, I hope that flowed a little bit better uh, than the first one. You kind of get the movement uh, back and forth and then staying low and then feeling the burn, right? Okay, good job. Okay, so let's rest up, let's grab a drink. We're gonna move on to the next exercise. So as you're having a rest, I'm gonna talk about the squat with the uh, chest press. Okay, so squatting down, um, doing the chest press, you're gonna do the holding the chest uh, dumbbell at the chest. We're gonna squat down and then press away and then come back up, okay? So there's a couple variations of this one, but I think for now this one, this one will be the best variation uh, that we work with to, um, to ramp up the movement. Okay. So let's get in position. I'll do the counts for you. Feet are hip width apart, bringing the dumbbell to the chest, and then let's get ready. Here we go. So we got one, two, so keep that going, three, abs nice and tight, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, let's keep that going. Let's aim for five, we can do this. One, two, almost there, three, four, last one, and five. All right, good job guys, nice work. Okay, so let's rest up, grab a drink, and then we're gonna move on, we're gonna do the, the next exercise, or the same exercise repeating. Uh, for the second uh, set. Okay. All right, so bringing it back into uh, feet hip width apart, uh, dumbbell at the chest, and then pushing that dumbbell out as you go down. Okay, so here we go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three more, one, two, last one, and three. All right, guys, nice work. Okay, so let's rest up, grab a drink. Well, that's a well-deserved break. And then I'm gonna talk about the next one. Okay. So we're gonna move it down to the mat, actually. The next two exercises um, are all gonna be for abs and core. <clears throat> Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do knees in and out. So we're gonna be laying on the back and palms are gonna be out to the sides for this one. And we're gonna pushing the legs in and out. Okay, so now you, what you wanna do here is you wanna make sure that you're maintaining the, um, the pelvic tilt, okay? So if you find that hard, pushing the knees straight out like this, then direct, um, push your feet more on a diagonal up towards the sky so that will help you maintain the pelvic tilt just a little bit more. If you struggle with the pelvic tilt, the lower the feet, the harder it's going to be to maintain that pelvic tilt, okay? So the higher you go up with the feet, the easier it will become so that you can maintain that pelvic tilt. And that's the initial goal here. Okay. So let's bring the arms out to the sides. We're gonna draw the feet together and we're gonna aim for 15. So here we go. We're gonna go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine. So let's keep it going. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Okay, so while you're resting, let's just flip it over. We're going to do a cobra stretch here. So we're doing the ab stretch. So palms and forearms are rested on the mat, bringing the gaze to the horizon. All right. <clears throat> And then we'll just lower it back down. And then just in between, we're just gonna do a dynamic movement. So we're gonna bring it back, arms extended. Let's round the back up and lower into just a little bit of a push here and then back down again. Okay, so let's bring it back to those abs. Okay, so pelvic tilt, like I said, is the important part here. Arms are out to the sides, and here we go. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. All right, hug it in. Let's stretch it out. Hug it in. Stretch it out. Good. And then let's rest. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate the next one. So this one's a little bit harder. So we're going to be doing uh, V sits with kicks and punches and rolls. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. So, of course, I'm going to break this down into variations. So, the actual um, movement has got uh, three movements in it, or actually four, including the V sit. We've got the V sit, you're going to do punches and kicks, and then you're going to roll punches and kicks, and then a roll, punches and kicks. Okay, so it's hard. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break it down. So if you want, you can focus uh, just on the kicks, or you can just focus on the punches, and then you can add a roll in if you like, or just leave the, the rolls out completely. So you can do all three movements as part of the exercise, or you can just break it down. Okay, so uh, let's begin. So kicks, punches, and rolls. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, Maybe you're here, six, or here, seven, eight, nine, ten, and last one here, and rest. All right, guys, good job. I hope you liked that one. Um, okay, so we'll rest it out. So let's take a nice big stretch. We're going to do one more set. So any variation that you want. Remember that you can always um, do all three and then change it and just regress down to just the punches, just the kicks. And then try to add the roll in there. You're doing some, uh, definitely work some abs. You definitely need a little bit of momentum as you move through it. And then another stretch. And then back to center. All right. Okay, so let's do it again. So V sit. So just a quick little demo again. You've got the, the punches and then the rolls. 
Okay, and then if you want, you can just do the punch. You can do the put the roll in there. You can do the kicks. You can put the roll in there. And then you can, or you can just leave the roll completely out. Okay, so here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. So let's keep it going. Eight. Nine. 10, this is your last roll. And rest, all right guys, good job. Okay, so let's uh, let's take a, a quick little rest. What I'm gonna do here next is I'm gonna take you through a quick little ab core circuit. So we've got about five minutes before we cool it down. Okay, so. We're gonna do eight sets in a row, 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. So the first exercise we're gonna focus on is going to be the Superman. So laying flat on the belly, we're gonna do Superman for 30 seconds. So opposite arm and leg. Okay, so let's get ready. Starting in four, three, two, one. So here we go, 30 seconds of work. Well, let's keep it going nice and strong, guys. 15 seconds left. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one and rest for 10. And then we're gonna do bicycles, resting on the forearms. Starting in four, three, two, one. Here we go. Pump it out. So much remember to breathe, don't hold the breath. Abs are tight. Two, 15 seconds left. 10 seconds. Almost there. Pumping it out, keep it going. Okay, so bringing the feet um, a little bit further apart from the glutes here, don't keep them really tucked in. You're gonna do a bridge lift and then a sit up. Okay, so bridge, sit, bridge, Sit. Okay, so your sit up only maybe a quarter movement. That's fine too. It could just be here. Okay, it could be a half sit, all right, or a full sit. Okay, but you're putting that bridge in there. You may have to adjust the feet accordingly. Okay, so let's uh, cross the feet over. We're going to do a crunch in and out. In and out. Okay, so it's working that out. <laughs> okay, so child's pose, rounding the back. Lowering the hips, push up, come back to child's, round the back, cat, push up, come back, child's pose, round the back like a mad cat, push up, child's pose. Okay, let's try that. Thank <laughs> you. 
Five seconds left. Okay, so side plank, modified, holding it. So keeping the abs nice and tight. Hips are up. And just remember to breathe, don't hold the breath. And so we'll do all one side first and then we'll change it over to the other side. Eight. Three, two, one. Okay, hold on the other side. So elbow is right underneath the shoulder, palm is facing down. Here we go. So let's keep it going, guys. We got one more set after this, and then we're gonna stretch it out. Three, two, one. Okay, so alternating bird dog side to side. Alternating bird dog. Okay, so nice big stretch, nice big reach. Okay, guys, nice work. Let's bring it back up to our feet. We're gonna stretch it out. So nice jaw today. All right. So let's begin first with our quadriceps stretch. So we did a nice big full body workout today. We'll get, target just a little bit of everything. So holding it up. Now you can hold the stretch. This is more static. And then other side. A nice big reach to the sky. And relax. And then we'll just pivot over to the one side, stretching that calf. And then over to the other side. Good, and then we'll come back to center. Let's cross it over, fold forward. And then change it over. And then we'll just roll it back up. And then we'll bring the feet nice and wide and then just hold the stretch here. You can put your hands on the floor. And then just over to the other side. And we'll just bring it back over and then walk the feet in. And then slowly to roll it up around the back. Standing up nice and tall, big reach to the sky. And then down and up and down and up and down and up and then reach and then to the other side. 
and we'll bring it back to center and then bring the palms down. Let's roll the shoulder blades back. And then to the front. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the workout today and uh, have a great rest of the week. And we'll see you back here maybe next week. All right, take care. Bye for now.